Next, I want to discuss the term quantum mechanics. When some people use it, it might refer to physics, and when other people use it, it might refer to math. So let me say more about this. When I use it, and a lot of people use it, it refers to the physics of the world you see around you, everything you see, except for, say, general relativity, cosmology, dark energy, dark matter, but, you know, the objects around you and fields. Some other people will say that it refers to the physics of the very small. As a solid state physicist, I disagree with saying that quantum mechanics is the physics of the very small because metals, quartz, diamonds, they're all very regular materials that are easily explained by quantum mechanics. And the electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, how reflective or transmittive it is to light, all explained. We haven't been sitting around for a hundred years saying, gee, I wonder how silicon works. No, it's all explained by quantum mechanics. Now, math. Some people will say that quantum mechanics refers to the math in the quantum textbooks that we use. I would call that the mathematical formulation of quantum mechanics or the quantum mechanics formalism. It's the procedures we use. And then there's even a subdivision of the math. So what I just described was the big bubble. Now there's a subdivision to the math. Some people would say quantum mechanics specifically refers to the non-relativistic math, uh, and they would call that quantum mechanics. Then they would say that the relativistic math is called quantum field theory. The final thing I should mention is that sometimes you'll hear quantum physics. Most people will just use quantum physics and quantum mechanics interchangeably. And then you'll hear quantum theory is heavily weighted toward referring to the math of quantum mechanics.